In today's topic, we're going to talk about down payment on a home. What should a home buyer expect? You know, you're not alone if you're wondering about you know where to start when it comes to what money is involved in purchasing a home everyone has the same questions and that's why I have a job to help people through the home buying process so when you're talking about what money's involved there's a lot of different aspects to buying a home and down payments just one of them you have the down payment you have the closing cost you have home inspection fees property taxes homeowners insurance your hidden fees, of course, and then, of course, the uh, moving expenses of actually moving yourself from one place to the other. So, how much money is required to purchase a home? There's, you know, everybody's different, and there's four things that we need to ask a home buyer to identify what type of loans and what type of down payments going to be required. So, let's go over that now. The first thing will be how much money have you saved? Do you have 20% or more in the bank to purchase your home? Are you somebody that has 3.5% or less? Um, that's going to make a difference on the type of loan that's available to you. Number two is your credit score. That's going to determine what kind of loans are available to you. Today is May 9th, 2009, and the credit score that is required for an FHA loan, the minimum credit score is 620. For a conventional loan, the minimum credit score is 680. So as you can see, it really depends on what your credit score is. Also, number three, it depends on if you're, you know, how long are you going to live in the home? Is this something that's a long-term um, situation or is a, a short-term situation? It's going to depend on the loan you get. Now, and then the last reason would be that would make you different would be, are you purchasing the home as a primary residence? Because if you're going to go with FHA, that's only for people that are purchasing a home for a primary residence, not a second home. Now, there's other things to consider also when you're talking about down payment, and I'm just going to make a couple points here. If you are working with 20% down or more, and you have that in the bank, then most likely, in most cases, a conventional loan is best going to fit you if your credit score is 680 and above. Now, if you need help with down payment and closing costs, there are resources for you as well. There is a rural development loan package that's available, and that's 100% financing. Now, there's qualifications on the location of the home with that program, but that may fit you, and then you can get 100% financing and not have to worry about a down payment. Also, there's local and state programs that are available to help you with either a low interest or a no interest loan for the down payment and closing costs. And those programs are HOOP and PHFA. Uh, also, there might be, uh, with FHA, if you're looking to um, go with the least amount of money down, FHA would be 3.5% um, down payment required. Now, that 3.5% doesn't have to come out of your pocket. It could come from a gift from family or a close friend. So again, it all depends on your needs and what your current financial situation is. So the best way to start is to get in um, contact with a buyer agent so they can put you in contact with a mortgage advisor in the area that you can work with and know right up front that, that this buyer agent and this mortgage advisor is going to work with you if you don't qualify for a loan right now. Your future is bright. If you work with someone that cares, they'll work with you towards your goal in the future and most people even if they have to work on their credit or down payment you can buy a home within a year to two years max so we hope this information has helped you uh, gain just a little bit more knowledge in down payment in buying a home